Hello all you GT6 fans. Uh, I thought I'd do another top speed tune today. Uh, we're looking at the Aston Martin 177. What a beautiful car and I love that green chrome. And it has that glitch black paint on the rims. If you guys want to know how to get that paint, comment down below and I'll tell you how to get it. But anyway, uh, She's a beauty. She's got that carbon fiber hood. Aston Martin makes some beautiful cars. But let's get on to the tune. Racing soft tires. Some say no, some say yes. It's your choice. But I run racing soft tires. Here's the suspension, and I'll let you freeze the video if you want to so you can see that better. It's uh, kind of set up like the Nismo tune. Transmission, pretty simple. Max speed all the way to the right. Final gear, 3.200. Make sure your gears match my gears. And again, you can freeze the video if you want to. Drive train, initial torque, 5. Acceleration sensitivity, 60. Braking sensitivity, 5. We have it set on 5 because if you have it on any more than that, it causes drag and we don't want no drag. We just want to go fast. Make sure you have all the updates. Uh, you can get nitrous if you want to. I have it. Make sure you have an oil change because that gives you extra horsepower on your car. Uh, ballast weight. There's no special reason I have it on 55. I just added weight to my car because we do a lot of dirty racing. And when you get a heavier car that's over 1,200 kilograms, it's like running into a wall when you hit me. I put it on negative 50 on the ballast position because it helps me turn better on those high banks. Alright, and without further ado, let's go see how fast she'll run. And like always, uh, to get the best speed, you want your time at 1400. Puts the best heat on the track and best heat into your tires so they grip the best and you go really fast. driving options make sure that your traction control is set to zero and your ABS is set to zero because set any higher than that it causes drag all right let's see how fast this beast will go as that wing comes up in the air that's pretty cool automatic spoiler in the back car is not the fastest in the world, but it'll suck right up into any draft, and I've had it do 330 before in the draft. With the nitrous, I've had it run 320, 325 by itself. This car used to do 300 miles an hour by itself, but uh, Gran Turismo kind of nerfed the speed on this car. <laughs> we hit 300 on the downhill, that's a good thing. But 
It cruises about 298. So there you have it. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Tell your friends about it. And please subscribe. Thank you very much.